All right, let's go ahead and get started. Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, so let's get back into the other worlds. I uh, made it clear on the first stream, but uh, yeah, I don't think I'll be playing much of this game off stream. Um, because it doesn't, it only has like, what, at max 25 side quests? So I figure, you know, just do those on stream. However, I don't know if that counts the companion ones, but it still doesn't seem like a whole terrible lot. Oops. I wanted to do something else. I just wanted to make sure, uh, okay, the watermark is in a good spot in the top right. Anyways, so, journal. Yeah, I don't know if that counted companion quests, but we only have, like, six companions in this game. And then tasks, I think, are the ones that if I wanted to play off stream, I would do these. There's not a whole lot to the companion quest. Right, so... Yeah, I figure we can just keep doing everything on stream. Not a big deal. Um... I feel like it, I didn't botch any, so it's... I feel like there were more side quests, but I guess I did do them. So, um... Shit, I don't know. Damn it, do you know how far we are in the main story? Does the main story have arcs? Because I'd like to do all the, like, the side quests and companion stuff I have right now. We find, uh, Outer Worlds main quests. It'd be halfway through the main stuff once you finish Monarch. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, let's go do that then. So, uh, information broker promised to find a location of the chemicals needed for Phine by Phineas. Problem is, he hasn't delivered on the intel in time and hasn't provided an explanation. Travel to Monarch, find him, and obtain the data. Okay. Right, because Monarch is this planet we've been hearing about for a little bit. So we can head on over there, I guess. Over here. Oop. And that's dangerous, so I guess we'll go here. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Haha, <laughs> you betcha. Because, yeah, I figured... From what I saw on how long, whatever that website is, the game isn't, the game's like 11 to 12 hours. So it's like, yeah, might as well play it all. Oh, yep, these two are fine. Well, I miss Pavardi, but yeah, since we're not, not doing companion stuff, let me just get these two out here. So then, and then the one companion is Sam, and I for didn't look into what we have to do for Sam, so I wonder who the sixth companion would be. Huh, this looks a lot better than what everyone was telling me, and we just got an achievement. Wait, what was the achievement called? Something's fishy. Oh, I don't think anything's fishy. I think that achievement was fishy. Uh, whatever. We'll just go down. Oop, just kidding. Oh, don't want to steal. Nope. Brotherhood of Steel. I knew it. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Nah, I don't think so. Just kidding. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Well, that is my ship on the landing pad right next to you. I knew it. See, I made what you call a logical deduction. <coughs> you must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. Well, I don't have this thing you call logic, so, uh... Takes more than a few gunships to scare me. Wish more folk could say that. Gets awful <clears throat> quiet guarding a landing pad that never gets used. 
You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. Spacer's choice. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Sal Tuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Captain Loaf. <laughs> I also love that you could... You can go through this entire game and still completely call yourself Alex Hawthorne. There is no point at which we would, like, we could still start, we could just start doing it. We could just start being addressed as Alex Hawthorne. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, grabbing a, uh, what do you call it? A split personality? Something along those lines? Uh, I'm Captain Loaf. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even gonna give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Nice. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. You're not what I expected to find on Monarch. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. Yep. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. I figured. I figured that's exactly how it was going to be. Um. Well, let me hear this response. Is Stellar Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. <laughs> oh, thank God. We got to have our Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch, guys. Are you saying that the board's been lying about this place? Oh, sure. They make Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. You get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. Is he referring to the Saltuna, which gets shipped here? I'm gonna have a look around. Mr. Sanjar will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh! And if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor. Put a good in word in for you? Uh, that depends. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? <sighs> Who's the Black Hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest Toswell hackers ever. Holcomb? I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You been living in a sulfur pit or something? No, Saltona pit, but... Uh... Actually, I've been hi in hibernation for decades, but I don't need to tell him that. But why is he called the Black Hole? On account of him being the best hacker who ever played? Nothing gets by him. He sucks up every ball that comes his way. I don't know what toss ball is. I thought I did. I thought it was just taha funny space baseball. I don't think I know what toss ball is. Maybe word that differently. Well, Holcomb's had a lot of nicknames over his career. He used to be the tallywhacker on account of what he'd do to the score. Before that, he was the slick stick because the shots were always so smooth. You're making this up. I swear I'm not. At the start of his career, people called him the hack boss, but no one thought that was very catchy. Sure, I can ask about your poster. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss it. Cool. Ooh, vending machines. Oh good, I can let's let's get ourselves some purple berry crunch. No, it's ammo. I don't want that. Here we oh purple how about some purple berry lunch, guys? It's it comes with crackers, cheese, pea free nuts, and purple berries, all packed and kept refrigerated for a quick lunch. What is a pea free nuts like? Protein? Like space protein? Uh, 
I don't think I had any junk. Oh, uh, whatever. P is storing the nuts. That's not what I wanted to hear, but that's what I knew I was going to hear. Range weapon mod changes the weapon's type to corrosion. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, increases tech skill, two range scope, increases weapon accuracy. Oh, uh, that's literally it? Range weapon spread, minus 20%. That's incredible. I'm gonna buy that up. What is my ottoman doing? Okay, never mind. Uh, are we good on stim packs? I don't see how many I have right now. I, I will if I leave. I got 22 stim packs. I think we're good. What about you? You have any ammo? The ammo is going to be worth it. I'm going to thank myself for it later. Um, here, I can... Why do I get a discount at this one? I, I think I fucked up buying the other stuff. Uh, oh, I already cleared out all that stuff. I can definitely sell those. I didn't mean to... Ah, uh, whatever. Hardly worth anything anyways. And I disposed of everything valuable in my uh, chest back at the ship. Oh, you know what I was said I was going to do off stream? I said I was going to look at... No, that was two streams ago, wasn't it? Oh, uh, whatever. I said I was going to look at my um, uh, weapons and everything and, and, and sort out my inventory. And I totally did not do that. I And quite frankly, I could have done that before the stream and I just forgot about it. Sup? We're not the best equipped. Scouting for rats keeps us on our toes. All right, dude. I believe you. The oh, dude, yacht club. They make games in here. Where are you all keeping shovel night? And the little bastard slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's. it's I think we found the sixth companion. All over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, <clears throat> tell the blood from the mud. She got two sentences in before I. Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt. It's rude. <laughs> okay. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap stomach and dig it out. Oh, Jesus. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? On the final sub-story of Yakuza Kiwami, that Amon guy is slapping my whole ass in this second form. I never, uh, 100%ed any Yakuza game because it required doing the minigames, and I cannot play baseball. It stops there, not even at Mahjong. Um. Loaf, are you always this drunk? You think this is drunk? I gotta, uh, you need to get out more. <laughs> Sit, partake. Buy me a drink and let's chat. What if I buy myself a drink? Uh. I shouldn't ask about an information broker out loud to a drunk person. Uh, I'm told you can get me an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's <clears throat> let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. I don't know how I feel about her. Um Sure, what do you need? Oh, okay. Well, I do like the attention to her animations. Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Caffeine pill. Why does that sound familiar? Caffeine pill. Caffeinoid. Stimulant. What? What is a... Uh... Migraine medicine. Migraine medicine. That's it. That's what I'm thinking of. Migraine medicine. is caffeine in it. Uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> Excuse me, we <laughs> have... Alright, anyways, so... Um... Uh, you mean caffeinoid? That stuff's a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Alright, I'll be back. Pavar, do you drink? No? Anyways, um, I guess we gotta go... Or not. That's not part of the main quest, is it? That's just, uh... It's not even anything here. No? Uh, well, maybe she's not a companion quest. Because even, like, Sam's thing got put down here, so... Maybe she's not. I don't know if I really... Mm, want her to be? But we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not as interested in drunk uh, uh, character archetypes. Unless they're like demo men who wake up without an or she's wake up with an eye. She's always cranky. No, I mean more than usual. Sup. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she can certainly pick up her own caffeinoid. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? By the way, I don't have work tomorrow. I'm going to try to have a pretty long stream tonight because it would be a very good opportunity to do so. Anyways. Uh, I've been asked to pick up a caffeinoid sub supplement. Supplement. Fuck. And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. <laughs> Please leave medical advice to the professional. <laughs> now, dearie, who is this pickup for? Excuse me. Um. <sighs> it's for Nyoka. Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump <clears throat> up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. She doesn't. She's a no, loner. Gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. There must be some way we can increase her allotment. Well, I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. So she doesn't work, though? But, like, well, um... Rita. Aw. Oh, guys, everyone shush. She's dreaming. And I, I heard her snoring. Anyways, uh, I thought you were in charge around here, Auntie. You sure ought to be. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Hmm. Supply room, you say? The one upstairs, where we store our medicine. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh, and where can I find this Dr. Williams? In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Oh, shit. Poor Sorry. I was always searching for the Flower <clears throat> of Enlightenment. On the way, he tried some... Rather daring substance combinations. Where's the graveyard? The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you. Search <laughs> Dr. Williams' body? Why? All right. I guess I'll have to figure this out on my own. <laughs> What the fuck are we gonna find on the body? Hold on, wait. Don't be so hard on her. If Velma's capable of running the warehouse, she stop having this conversation. Don't be so hard on her. With Brax missing, she's working doubles. At also, why does it still have a thing on her head? No, oh, whatever. Very well, dearie. But you stop by any time you like. Hmm? Thanks. I'll uh, I'll keep that in mind. 
Sure you will, buddy. Sorry, I've got to get back to the Damn it. I, I love and do not like that there is so much, like, environmental building dialogue in this game. Because it's like, it's dialogue like that. You can't interact. You can't solve Velma's problems. But, like, that, you know, that's just environment details. You're not a part of that, and you're never going to be. Wrap mask and canid eyes right here. All right, buddy. What the fuck did you just say to me? Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Why would I want any of that? I don't know. Celia <laughs> usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years. But he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Vardy, you know who he's talking about? Sure. Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a manta queen for the last display. He left the veil, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. Hmm. Ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta queens, especially. Have you seen a Manta Queen? Sure. They're real big. Hard to miss them. Where have you seen a Manta Queen? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett. <clears throat> but I haven't seen him in a few weeks. Oh, he's dead. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Captain, can we look for him? I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Tell you what. I'll tell you where I sent Excuse Mr. Me. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. <laughs> no, Maybe dude, I'm just tell me where it went for fun, you know? You know, we'll just keep that information to ourselves. Uh, sure. I, well, uh, I think this line is for bonus Pavardi points, so if he's a friend of Pavardi, I suppose we, I oughta. Thanks, Captain. All right, then. Leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, and head past the abandoned ruins. Last Mana Queen I saw was in the wilds out that aways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there, too. Maybe some other time. So we're heading. Please, will someone help me? My boy is in trouble. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. This is a setup. Please. You have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a Raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Are you okay? It's more dissolving than melting. <laughs> that is not <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love her. She's great. Oh, man. <laughs> what an asshole. Uh... Uh, calm down, take a deep breath, and tell me what happened. Don't you tell me to calm down. Fuck off. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptor dogs. Oh, I, and I'm positive, and like... Pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. I bet the oh, twist is the dude's okay. just an old guy. The youngster won't last long in a place like this. Like legit old Please. man, and she's oh, concerned yeah. like he's a child. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Um. Did you say there was a reward involved in this request? Well, I, I, I guess I can't ask you to leave the town walls for free. It is <laughs> deathly dangerous out there. I've got some bits saved up for a rainy day. I'll give you every last one if you just bring my Tucker back to me. I won't even be mad at him running off. You tell him I, I won't be mad. Is, yeah, it's going to be a grown fucking guy. Um, Why would Tucker run away? He's been pining for an adventure. Says he's tired of living cooped up behind the walls. But he doesn't understand how dangerous it is out there. I warned him. 
A raptodon would snap him up first chance it got. I just know one's ripped his arm off and is gnawing on his sweet little fingers. He should have listened to his mama. I promised I'd keep him safe here with me. Where would he have gone? He's been listening to those awful broadcasts <clears throat> that the iconoclasts put out. I begged Sanjar to put a stop to them. But did he? No. And now I just know my boys run off to Amber Heights. That is, if a Manta Queen hasn't spooled out and eaten his entrails for breakfast already. I kind of am a little scared to go out there. Um, I'll help you find. I'll help find your son. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights. You hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. 100% he's in his 30s. <clears throat> So, let me look at the map for this whole area, because it sounds like everything is out south here. Amber, whatever, is out south. The graveyard's south. The, uh... Other thing is south, where the Manta Queens are. I was gonna say, this game's on an SSD. Why is it taking so long? This game's on an SSD! Uh, south, southwest. Yeah, close enough. Actually, it's a pretty sizable planet. That's pretty awesome. So, uh, all right. I wish it had a daytime, though. But beggars can't be choosers. Cabin on one of my first ships. You reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. Oh god! Yeah, I'm a little, little, little frightened. Wait, didn't I get a hella good gun last time? The energy thing. Oh god, I shot its eyes and it was blinded. That's actually really cool. Damn, hang in there, Ellie. <laughs> you good, Ellie? Uh, I found a flaw in you. Rat... Raptophobia. I was gonna say ratphobia. The year of rat. We are afraid of rats. Uh, repeated encounters with raptodons has lessened your effectiveness when they're attacking you with companions. Minus... Uh, and for that one perk point, that's not even worth it. No. For one perk point... For one lousy perk point? I know there's a limit from leveling up, but I don't think, like, I'm in that much of a, you know, rush to, uh, get some kind of build done. But maybe I'm dumb. I say as I miss. Whoa! Lasers ricochet! Awesome! That's so cool. Hell yeah, dude. I did not know they did that. That's so cool. Almost there. Yeah, that's really, uh... Well, that doesn't ricochet, but the pistol one does. Is that a... Is that a... So I guess that's not a laser thing. That's just unique to this gun. Scary powerful handgun, a standard issue in Earth, uh, Dictor Directory 8 soldiers, and is made by the weapon conglomerate force who owns their own colony. Okay, well, that doesn't answer the question. Oh my god, look at all these stats. That's fucking awesome. 
Oh yeah, here it is. A powerful handgun that fires special energy projectiles that ricochet off most surfaces. Sick. That's pretty cool. Alright, we're almost to the graveyard. We can, like, loot this entire city. That's definitely something I should do off-stream is loot. Damn, that did so much damage off that thing. 360! You see how cool that was? Because <laughs> I bounced off her head. I did a 360, bounced off her head, and then shot it. And I leveled up because of it, too. Oh, wow, they need to even bury him. They... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> they... Okay, let me do this first. Um, man, I'm a terrible leader, despite having, like, five people follow me now. Bam, done upgrading uh, defense. Um, yeah, put the rest in dialogue for now. Perks. Oh, good, I got a no new perks. Okay, uh... 65% movement penalty to accuracy? That's incredible. Wow, that's that's a that's like a lot. Uh TTT restored, science weapon damage, movement speed during TTT. Extra headshot weak spot damage. Ooh, maybe. Interactable highlight range. That's an, that's an interesting one. Vendor buying price, dialogue skill, carrying capacity, uh, tempting. Maybe I'll get that on the next level. 15 health restored per kill. Yes, 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 yes. Fuck yes. I love vampiric skills so much. Alright, so, uh. Yeah, the, the dude's dead. I thought, like, we were gonna loot a grave, but they didn't even bury him. Did they, uh, okay. these, these headstones aren't even marked. That's incredible. This town's laziness is unparalleled. I call it laziness when, like, you know, it's so dangerous to get out here in the first place. But, you know, they're lazy. What are you gonna do? Anything hiding out here, either? All right, so um, let's, let's while we're out here, Alpha Vardy has got something. She gets a new perk point. Ten percent chance to extract mods in the field. That's fucking awesome. Hmm. I wonder how many perk points is possible to get on your companions. Cause like, well, she has these specific ones, and I think that like. I don't know. Those will, it'll seem really important. Hmm. All right, sure. Okay. Um. So there's that one. A family matter. Look for. Do we want to look for Tucker or? Let's see how close Tucker is. 488 meters. And this one. Oh, that's back over there. Let's go for Tucker. Since we can just get to that one when we get back to town. Yeah, exactly. It's it's not... I thought we were legit going to go grave robbing, but... As by all intents and purposes, we'll hold up in court as not being grave robbing. Uh-oh. Maybe I shouldn't go this way. Mm, guess I don't have a choice. Ha. Huh. I figured I figured the game would have something that would push me out of uh situations like that.
Nice. I love it because I have I have more ammo than I'll probably need in this entire playthrough for for uh, laser weapons for energy weapons, and I don't like. I held off on using them for a bit, but like, I have so much ammo for this damn thing. Oh wow, I have 790 light ammo too. Oh well, I, maybe I'm just good on ammo. Nightmarish ASMR. Was it uh this? Was this loud? I don't know which part. I didn't hear it as too loud. Unless you heard something I didn't hear. I don't know. I didn't hear anything that was too loud. <clears throat> Looks like I can see uh, Amber Place from over here. Monarch! Cascadia, Fallbrook, Fallbrook. There's a lot to this place. No, when you were stuck in the noise of you jumping, went in rapid fire. Oh, that. That was loud? Oh, shit! What hit me? Wait, is that thing fighting us? It doesn't have a health bar. No, you're helping us. Okay, thank you. Uh... Hold up. Wait, I need a little explanation on the scrap mechanic. That one's not friendly. Did, did Pavardi hack it? Oh, laser weapons are not good on them. I think. I'm actually not sure, but that was definitely- it was doing single digit damage against that robot. The laser weapons. Tag him and tag him. Well, here we are. Hello? Your lie skill gives a chance of turning hostile robots friendly when they damage you. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. Sure. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know? I really don't get it. It's just oh, an indie game. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Who are the Iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, what does that mean? no shackles, no problems. No problems? What about Raptodons and Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn Well, alright, as long as you're not killing any innocent people because they just happen to work for a corporation. Um, got it. Hey, before I go, I'm looking for a Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to punch him in the face, but... Good luck in all that you do. I can't even... I wanted to talk to you, ask Seems more like questions. Town? Except for all the dead critters. I, I agree with Pavardi. It seems alright. They're, uh... 
I don't really know what, you know, quote-unquote free means. I guess they're just kinda, sort of, off the grid, I guess. Seems cozy here, I don't know. If being an iconoclast just means that, you know, I knew it. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? <laughs> uh, it's Captain Loaf. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Oh, well, hold up, hold up, hold up. Freeing the world is pretty different from what you were saying before. Anyways. <clears throat> uh, Tucker, you're Agnes's little boy from Stellar Bay. I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She offered an uh she offered a reward to anyone who bring you back to Stellar Bay. I'm gonna say that because I think that would stir up more uh stir the pot. Let me guess. You're here to collect it. Uh, and I can well. tell you right now, it is not gonna happen. I won't go back. My entire life, she locked me in Stellar Bay because she was afraid. Well, that's Don't what I'm... Yeah, that's... Friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long. Ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, wow. but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Hold on. Yeah, so we're the good Marxists. Anyways. Um... I wanted to ask more about the people, but I guess I am gone in the conversation now. Anyways, running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown, you've grown up. Show up with a bottle of vodka and some real good cusses. That'll show her how much you've grown. <laughs> At a girl, Ellie. They brainwashed me into some kind of hooligan. As far as she's concerned, if I make any decision that's not aligned with hers, someone else convinced me. She God doesn't damn. Want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? Ooh. Teach her the iconoclast philosophies, convert her so she might join you in freedom. Mmm, seems like a mistake. <clears throat> Oh man, mm, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna learn what the iconic last star first before. Well, whatever. You're right. I can't do this. <laughs> Who are the I iconic last? My ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. <laughs> what are your people's beliefs? Okay, so they have maintenance. That's good. Uh, I can't steal from them. Is is anyone here a unique NPC with a name? You. You are. I've seen you before. I'm new here. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. Oh, shit. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. <laughs> What's your story? It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, 
I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. You said you've been around the whole moon. You must know a few things no one else does. The only thing I got to teach is get the fuck off T1. Or whatever they're calling it this week. Anybody with half a brain could tell you that. Look, you wanna buy the drinks? <clears throat> Do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. I'll leave you be. Do you have a name? No. Do you? No. I I want more lore. Can I talk to uh what was their name Rose at the beginning? Convert me, damn it. Let me say a whole bunch of things about the people and my ideal of them. Miss Ellie, or uh, Dr. Finhill. I notice your pistol's been making a funny noise. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully. You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Are you? I can't see how much she has on her. But she does have a lie of 38, so maybe she's lying about it. Oh, no. <clears throat> I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a price. Fair. May the eternal truth guide you. What's the eternal truth, damn it? Supplies, Bronson. I saw a name. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. I'm Loaf. You run a store out here? It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster, and a chef, and a handyman, and whatever else we need. A quartermaster for the iconoclasts? We I say eat. that like I know what these Eating guys are. Means hunting. And hunting means armaments. We used to let people take what they will, but then some idiot shot some other idiot over cards. So Zora set up a system. You fuck up, you don't get to buy gear. You play nice, you do. <laughs> it's got a better gun policy than we do, let me tell you that. Uh, anything you need? I don't, I don't know if I want to help these people yet. It's really weird that I have positive reputation with them and I just do not know what their people are about. I'll go to workbench, I can install that mod. Uh, which one of these has the most range, though? Well, maybe I should get it for that pistol. Or... Also, do I need a repair? 90, 81, 14. Oh, yeah, definitely. Repair only costs bits or... Oh, weapon parts. It costs weapon parts. Okay. Done. Well, I'll just do it all, then. 24 weapon parts. Cool, that works. Okay, so, uh, where's that gun? This pistol, right? No? Where is it? I guess I can't modify unique weapons. That's interesting. Um... May I see your range? Max range, 200 meters. Two hundred meters, same range. Well, actually, that's like a projectile. Hmm. And snipe. Oh, that already has it on it. This one already. The assault rifle already has it. So uh, I'll throw it on here. Magazine size fifty percent. Oh man. Oh, can I only install certain mods? Okay. Because I don't have that one mod I bought. 
these all change the weapon type, so I guess it's only I can only put magazine modify the magazine on that one. And this one takes either magazine or scope mods. Okay, get it. I got it. Why would I put a scope mod on here? I do want more ammo, though. Hmm. Magazine size is 45. This one's 135. And this one's... 36. I think we'll put it on here then. Yeah. And I want to change the ammo type. Oh, wait. I can only put one magazine mod at a time. Okay, never mind. That's fine. I kind of feel I should save those things for later guns, but... I know damn well that if I don't use them now, I'm never going to, probably. You know, it's like ethers and elixirs and Final Fantasy. This is... Okay. Oops, sorry, Helix. Ooh. Due to external damage, device can no longer store more than four logs. I'll just go ahead and repair it. I don't know who I repaired that for, but I repaired it for him. You take real good care of your pistol, Dr. Fenhill. I oughta. It's kept me alive this long. I mean, you treat it nice. <clears throat> Makes me happy to see, because I feel the same way about my wrench. Look, it's a tool that does it. There was an effective you range stat? God it. damn it. Oh well. Good luck in all that you do. Oh wait, here's a little more area. I was gonna say, we're we've gone this far and I just can't like find information there's these people this is this is hank hill and and the guys the boys sitting down for a drink it ain't right how many good folk are we gonna lose to our missions that's just the way of it we gotta earn our keep out here that don't mean we ought to be following her into the jaws of a manticore you'd rather sit on your thumbs and starve no all i'm saying is she gotta be more careful throwing away lies like that that doesn't sound too free. Rioter, rioter. They look like Destiny characters, kinda. A Manta Queen. Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. Oh, Graham. Hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. <clears throat> it seems we have company. Sup? A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Mm, give me the cliff notes. This is Amber Heights. I expected more altars or incense or both. Shed the trappings of a materialistic life, Captain. You'll find your soul much less burdened. Yeah, but I'll a lot less interesting. <laughs> if we were meant to enjoy the things that glitter and shine, the universe would provide them. I don't know about that one. I ever tell you guys about, uh, oh, I talked about it during Risk of Rain, about, like, when I drive to work, I was listening to the radio, and I got bored of the pop music, or I got tired of pop music, so I changed the station to a, uh, religious station, and that lasted, like, two car trips. No, it lasted, like, actually half of one car trip, because it, it, it turned from, like, mm, a debatable life lesson that was being preached to um how you should you know give the church some money and, and uh anyway so uh but who knows if this grand person is the same 
Anyways, uh... Hmm... Makes sense, you need to survive. You can't afford frivolity, I guess. It has provided them on store shelves. No, that's good. No, no, no. There's a difference. Come back for a meditation session later. The peace will clear your mind. And I shudder to think how wasteful we used to be before we were abandoned. Indeed. The corporate life is nothing but wanton excess and waste. The truth has shown us how careful we must be. Now, why have you come? I want to know more. Oh, tell me about the iconoclasts. The iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs. All petals on the same flower of enlightenment. Mm, so you're. Meanwhile, Never mind. the board strangles the will of its workers. It is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder. We seek to replace their way of life with ours. Philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles. I mean, this does work without capitalism. But I mean, they seem pretty harmless, right? Give us money and pay our taxes so I can look fly in prayer circles, yeah. Um... Is this why the board is cornered off Monarch? Oh yes. Gunships hover in our skies, ready for the day they decide to come to our doors waving banners of war. I don't... The perception huh. of visionaries is often tainted by the lies of their oppressors. What? A sad state of affairs, to be sure. All right. Tell me about that the again. The iconoclasts are free. Me we... Um... Well, the rest of the colony thinks your way is insane. The perception of visionaries is often tainted by the lie. Fuck off. From what I've seen, I ha no, I don't agree. But it'd be dangerous to let anarchy run rampant. This is not anarchy. Society requires structure, Captain. Uh -huh. It's just that the board's structure is killing the colony. Ours will not. Is that it? You don't have a... Uh... I mean, something feels fishy. Well, maybe it's not. Maybe it's like, um... Well, no, I was gonna say, uh... The Nords and Skyrim, but they're not exactly. They're they're a little more morally, quote unquote, gray. Um, I want to know more about your teachings. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? Oh no! I hear the word eternal thrown around around a lot. What is it? Ah, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms. Divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Um... Even OSI? What is OSI? I don't know what that is. Are their members similarly? I guess since I don't know what it is, I won't say that. I must be more divine than a beast. Divinity cannot be quantified, Captain. Fair enough. It is or it isn't. We are or we aren't. So it's a variable. Like a computer. What do you mean by an awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI just like the overlords before him. What friend was that? Sanjar Nandi. He leads MSI out of Stellar Bay. Such a shame, the way his 
sensibilities have been corrupted over time. Never mind. All right. Never mind. Why have you come? Fuck off. Um, no, um... I'll be going now. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ask that woman back at the, uh... Place I landed. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask them about this place because I oh hey there is sunlight oh awesome beggars can be choosers I think it might I might get a little more information about what what they have done ah, town. Never <clears throat> change. everybody here looks wore out is it just me there they I f I don't know what to think about it I guess they, you know, they seem harmless enough, right? So they they just seem harmless. They they are just out here on this damn planet like living life without the corporation, so you know, they're completely independent. That's all it is. They're just a independent colony. That's it. That formed around a religion, but Hi. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Oh, are you going to give me the reward? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll just go straight to the reward. He can fuck off back, but, you know, as long as I get the reward. Uh, you two need, um, you need, you two need to work this out between you. There's nothing to work out. My baby's back home, and that's all there is to say on the matter. No, Mama. I have plenty to say about this. But that's between us. Now, you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me can have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. 625. It's more than worth it to have my tuk-tuk home safe again. Good luck to you both. I just want to know more about those guys out there, but uh, what was the other one? Here we go. Oop, that was not out. That's not even out there at all. So, um, all right, we're getting those uh, the the stimulants, Cave the migraine medicine. I wonder if that's the idea. I do not know if other pills use oh, like Someone's been killed. I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh pull yourself together and tell me what happened. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this if you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me. I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Here? Frankly is... Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. I, Not I, much I can do for this guy. Yeah, for real. He didn't even have anything on him, though. What a waste. Oh, that's because someone else killed him and looted him. Um, toss ball betting slip. This betting slip lists some increasingly bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonists from the left field toss ball betting. So what, he lost a bet and couldn't pay it? Hastily packed suitcase. Several ragged outfits, all of them same cut and color, were stuffed into the suitcase. Uh, 
Huh. Investigate left field toss ball betting. I, w I am more interested in that right now. Let's go do that. This, this dead body is far more interesting than everything else. Maybe, maybe this is what, uh, uh, the Iconoclasts are about, is betting. I have to remember, I can't steal. It's very rude. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest toss ball games. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. They're all pretty great. Um, they're all pretty great. That is the most Austin expression ever. Aren't they just? <laughs> when I get to worrying about the marauders outside, the raptodons chewing at the walls, I just turn my transceiver up to drown it all out. Most of the time it's static on account of the frequency being clogged up, but sometimes it's toss ball. So, what can I do for you? Yeah, why was there a dead guy? Uh, I found this bedding slip in a dead man's apartment. Any idea what might have happened to him? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. What does that mean? Um... I, I'm listening. Right. So the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something, and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. So he was addicted to gambling. Uh, so who did he owe? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. The Fall Fallbrook bullies from down the block. Sounds like wrapped in here. Pay those lads a visit. They were talking about Saltuna. What are the chances of all the times and places we could have been born? Yeah. Yeah, you could have been born in like 2020. Ellie. And sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. These two have a lot of dialogue. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. Still though, don't you find it thrilling being in space? Look, it's just Ellie. Open do oh wait, behind here. Sup? Who the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. It is now, bitch. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. I just told you. Berta already bitch. pissed by those crates to market. Uh what's going on here? Um I can't say anything else. Uh I don't wanna just whatever. I know you murdered Isaac. Listen. That purple tooth twerp had it coming. Oh, okay. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Attack, wrong answer. I really... That's such a good line, though. Damn it. I'm making it my business. Uh... Fine, let's forget this ever happened. I don't think so. You're a loose end now. Whoa, they do hella damage. All right, all right, I take it back. I said very mean words about you and this is your alley. Yo, just kidding. Oh, 
Guys, get up. Come on. Alright, now get rid of the bodies. Well, I thought they were going to disintegrate. Well, uh... That was not as long as I thought it'd be, but that's okay. <laughs> Problem solved. I don't know who Isaac is. I don't know why I got revenge for him. Mm, but, I mean, they were going to kill me, so... There really was no other way for that conversation to go. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. Sup? I'll note it next to the others, sir. Well, new business turns up at last. Yeah, I just killed like four people. Didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Fuck off. You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. That's very generous of you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? Um... I, I'm just looking for an information broker. Hiram? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. No, I'm good on that stuff forever. Um... If I have to eat one more weird science project past office food in this sprat fucked colony, I'm going to stab someone. Uh, it just keeps happening, you know. Anyways, just tell me where I can find the information broker. Mioka could direct you best. Seek her out at the yacht club. But she's drunk! Celia, this is wretched. <clears throat> All our best efforts for naught. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. What in the goddamn did you I just say? I hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. You tried put putting up like pinup models to get people back here? <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. Um, what exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection. Yeah, what would Alex Hawthorne now? think of this situation? Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Sounds like you're freer than anyone in, anyone else in Halcyon. Why not embrace it? Exactly what I would have said if I'd been paying attention. That a girl. You talk like Graham. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a rather pretty slogan. But if you sit down and tally up the costs, how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid, how you protect yourself from a hostile galaxy, it starts to lose its shine. Right, like... Um, so what do you mean to do about it? Well, Mr. <clears throat> Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Good luck ingenious with that. Ingenious plan? Don't get me wrong, I'm starting to admire your sand, but I bet you could overcomplicate a sisty sandwich. What a charmingly roguish turn of phrase. Allow me to express my thanks at your confidence and assure you that my plan is indeed sufficiently complicated. God damn it. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. I have to say it. This lady knows what's going on. 
It's true. Our <laughs> Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. For what? Oh, from, yeah, uh, no shit, defended. Um, actually, that's a, that's a good question. How long did it take you to figure out that you needed to defend your city? Not long, but the devil is always in the details. And the salient detail here is a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can mm -hmm. get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. A Bolt 52 sounds useful. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. It is quite the rush. Wait, what if I take it for myself, though? Um... Once you have the Bolt 52, what's the other part of your plan? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. No, please do. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. <sighs> and these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. I'll see what I can find. Oh, um... Why are you saying it that way? Saying what? Which way? Arms. You're saying arms instead of arms. <laughs> That's just what it's called. It's supposed to stand for something, but I forget what. <laughs> that was a good dialogue option. Uh, fine. I'll see what I can good do. Enough. I know when to settle. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I'm gonna read the fuck out of it. Sure, bye. We're gonna we're gonna find out what the goddamn is going on this on this planet. This planet's really interesting. Oh, it's a faction quest. Good golly, there's there's more than I thought there would be. Um alright, yeah, let's head right over there. Nice thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Sure. Best part is when they pay us. We Ooh. never really had new folks in Edgewater, except the captain. Kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. Yeah, you're right. Why did I don't remember everyone else having this much dialogue, but I guess we haven't been out on uh, planets in the same way. What do we have before? Ellie and, um, um, Felix, whatever his name was. Yeah, it was Felix. Uh, Ellie and Felix didn't have that much dialogue together. These, these two were hitting it off at, like, every turn. So let's head on out there. Again. It smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload saltuna shipments at the cannon. Am I the only one getting hungry? For saltuna? No, you don't want to. You don't want to get hungry for that stuff. I say that pre-using human bodies for it and post-using human bodies for it. You gotta remember there's explosions all around, like that. I wanna use the pistol. Alright, we made it. I'm gonna turn the uh, sound effects down a little bit. Audio effects. 60 should be good. Okay. Think they left anything good behind? Here we go. Oh shit. Well, that's the last of them. 
Tag him and tag him. I can't help it. I really can't help it. I can't believe there's no other games that use the phrase bag him and tag him like Mass Effect did. Ooh, help, help. Just kidding, I got it. What, what else are we shooting? I didn't see it, it was hiding. The thing has better stealth than I do. Oh good, no loading screen. Thought we were gonna go like exploring a whole dungeon, but uh, arms building is not a building. Well, it is a building, but it's not a uh, dungeon building. Tons of good stuff in here, so far. What do we got in this terminal? Along the archives, records of miscellaneous arms. Few executive reviews. Sanjar has a bad habit of padding his reports with numbers and stats. Not very good with slogans, jingles, or taglines. Presentations tend to be dry and lack an emotional appeal and funny references. What is that? Okay. Uh, Sanjar also displays a noted tendency to complete rath work rather than delegating it, a trend unbecoming of upper management. So, all in all, Sanjar's work habits suggest a preoccupation with details and a startling lack of vision. We can't recommend him for future advancement. Needs improvement in the following areas. Yeah, yeah. Is that it? Graham. Spoof login credentials. How does... Sure. Graham's understanding of product management, uh, product messaging and branding is impressive, especially for a relatively low-level editor. Has a knack for memorable slogans and taglines. However, Graham has issues with brevity, and shows consistent disregard for prescribed fonts and formats, some of which has been flagged in subverse undertones. Is a graphic design student. This terminal is brought to you by enter company name here, enter company name here, enter slogan here. Who is uh, Dora? Was that the other person? I guess it was. Her delegation skills are top notch. You can build a recommend for promotion. Oh, that's why he wants me to delete him. Hmm. Hmm. That's why he wants me to delete him. I don't know about that one, sir. I don't know if that's for the betterment of your people. I don't necessarily disagree with what they wrote. Sir, I don't think I'm gonna delete those. I think I'm gonna get you out of charge. And put Dora in charge. If I can. What was that? What happened? You guys okay? That was probably the sound of Ellie jumping. <laughs> yep, that was the sound of them jumping. <clears throat> I wonder if, like, if I don't delete them, like, can I, like, Uh, wait. Hello, who's in there? Oh, thank the Eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up, then wrapped it on. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here, and, um, now the door's locked. Little help? You got locked in? How? It's easier than it sounds, alright? Next time you get chased by Raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. I, I kill them. So, well, alright, never mind. Uh, well, I need to get in that room. Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Uh, got munched. wasn't a doctor, was it? for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe... Rat belly. Gross. 
Um, Seeing as you're trapped, you might as well answer a few things for me. Sure. Beats not answering questions. I'm looking for a Bolt, thir bolt 52. Any lying around? Probably. I don't know. When I try to read things, my mind gets to wandering about all the things I could be doing instead. Is that a... Sounds like ADHD, but would that, I don't know, think about it too much. Who are you? Huxley. I'm an Iconoclast runner. Oh. The Iconoclast runner. Fast as we've got. Ain't a raptodon on this void forsaken hellhole that can catch me. I'm, uh, I'm, <sighs> sorry. Put me in a tiny room like this and I'm liable to flip. Not keen on tight spaces, you know? <laughs> Tell me about the iconoclasts. Oh, that'd be my people. Graham and Zora and Milton and I really miss them. You gonna let me out of here? I wanna get back to Amber Heights. <laughs> so you get locked in closets often? My buddy locked me in here. I told you that. It was for my safekeeping, on account of Raptodons wanting to munch on my head. But I mean okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. It's just part of the life, all right? Sometimes you gotta hide in a trash can so you don't get eaten by monsters. Wait, really? I wasn't serious. Oh, uh, <laughs> neither was I. <laughs> you would hide in a trash can. Gross. Right, back to the door. Get me out of here! I'll take a look around. 75 All right, well, I guess we'll go get that key, which I guess was not on the dead body we were looking at. Um, is that taking me? Ah, yes it is. How many are over there? Oh jeez, projectiles. I, guys, please trust me. Ellie Pavardi, you guys have to believe me that if I could tank those things for you guys, I would. <laughs> Just slap them back. Just parry them. Just parry the projectiles, guys. Oh, I thought I killed this one. Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Pulls out the la laser rifle. Oh my god, they're both dead. Do I need companions? They're so weak. What? It missed. What did I want to raise? Uh, well, I was working on dialogue. I guess I want to still get that up a little higher. Or, um... Zanique's good. What's hacking fall under? Oh, here. That's still pretty high, so, yeah. Keep working on dialogue. Bam. Done with that. Done with that. Um... Start working on this, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Hey, you're dead. All right. Whoa. Oop. That was not a uh, distance thing, I guess. That was that was like the clouds. Catch the acid in your mouth, mix it with your stomach acid, and chuck it back at them. <laughs> what are there fucking cows over here? Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. What the fuck? Why would you be so mean? Uh, whatever. Um. 
Normally when you help someone, uh, yeah, no, you sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and, hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Normally when you help someone, they give you something for their trouble. What? I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? That's, that's, honestly, that's good enough for me, but, um... Put in a good word. I don't know if I want them to have a good word of me. Uh, I can't buy ammo with appreciation and respect. Uh, that's true. Okay, fine. Here. What'd you give me? Oh, wow. That's uh, okay. Thanks. Uh, good luck. Thanks a lot, mister. Goodbye, Woody. There is like a, I think it is an interesting concept where there are characters who like, they're just meant for world building. They don't have to be some part of something bigger. And that's a, that's a lot of characters in this game that we run into. They are not part of anything bigger. I mean, maybe they are, but it's in super subtle ways. Um, yeah, we're not wiping the terminal. We're putting Dora in charge if we can. I would very much like to do that. I don't know who I am to make that call, but it would be really funny if I made that call. All right. I'm starting to think I did not install this game on my SSD. Nah. Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. <laughs> Poor Pavardi. A fine day for business, isn't it? Anyway, what can I do for you? I've got to go. Hey. What? That's... Okay, who's Dora? Who the fuck is Dora? Is Dora alive? We haven't met a Dora, have we? Because I thought, like... Maybe that was the other person, but no, who's who's Dora? You guys know who Dora is? Oh, whatever. A fine day for business, isn't it? Anyway, what can I do for you? Uh Oh, hey, we gotta talk about this, too. Isaac Rose is dead. I found the people who killed him. But that's terrible. What happened? Uh, I've taken care of it. The killers are dead. But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to reestablish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Maybe I could have gotten their statements if they hadn't been ready to kill me. Always a shame when tempers get the better of good sense. Still, your intervention in the matter is <clears throat> much appreciated. Hell yeah. Please consider this payment for your services. Glad I got that beforehand. Anyways, I found your review on a terminal in the arms building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Uh, let's see. You could have told me what was on the terminal. Yes, but then you would have known. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, 
I was a joke to them. Who cares what they think? You're in charge now. I guess. Yeah, in charge of a scrap heap of a city. Yeah. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. Yeah. <sighs> when you put it that way, it does sound pretty pathetic. Please, I, I can't think about this right now. Celia, schedule 30 minutes of inconsolable weeping later today. Jesus Christ. I'll pad it out with an extra 15, sir. It's an NPC now, on the other side of the was map. Something else you need? Was Faye her last name? I don't I don't think it was Faye. Oh, I'll go back. If you're serious, I will go to the other side and find her and get her back. You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? Oh, jeez, these two. It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... You seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Oh, fuck off. Fuck you, Dama. God. I, I took I ate it right up. God damn it. No, who the fuck is Dora? <laughs> I didn't say it though. I didn't say I I reversed it because I knew the first name was Dora. But no, who where is that person? Uh, maybe I can meet them somewhere else around town? I bet if I had said it correctly, then it probably would have occurred. Mm-mm, Vod ain't getting shit. I know better. Okay, so I was supposed to go upstairs this whole time. You know, chat, chat, uh, highlights save the, uh, chat log. Not highlights, clips. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Fuck. That wouldn't work, would it? If I just... This terminal is for authorized medical engineers. Okay, what if I just make a new account? Error. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> is this like... What did you make Max say? Oh, when you made him read the fucking number. That was so good. I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for rap musk. Bet they also pay you know what helps though is is I know Supposedly. passively. Just I don't have to think about it. But when Damas says something, I have to read it completely in my head before I say it out loud. back good news bad news all of the above i've got your magic pill these things are dangerous you know says someone who's never had any fun <laughs> good exactly. point exactly see i'm glad someone on your crew's got some sense sensible got her head on straight Whew, that hits the spot Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stalking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. 
That is 100% migraine medicine. Anyways. Um. Glad to have you. I'm not so... Not looking for company on the road. Just tell me about the reach for information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call... Is Death. she really the sixth character? It's south and west. Mostly follow the road till you're past Fallbrook. Then look for caverns in the mountain. If you ain't into Spelunkin, there's a western slope past Rotting River. But it's dangerous ground. A lot of things that'll want to eat you there. She is? Oh, uh, well. All right. Well, take her along. You're back. Good news? Bad news? All of the above? Turns out I could use a guide after all. Wait, that's going to make the other two leave. Never mind. We'll do this first and then get her on her way out. Uh, is that fair? Uh, fuck it. We'll get her. So I was going to say, we're going to get plenty of time with those two, with Elia You're Pavardi. Back. Good news? And I'm tired of you saying that, the so. Trail is better than drinking on this here stool. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Um. Who would have better interactions? These two get along, so let's uh, keep Pavardi. I hope you like being part of our crew, Nioka. We're real excited to have you. So you keep Monarch safe, huh? That's real honorable work, Miss Nioka. What if it's a Pavardi thing? Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. Yeah, what if it's just a Pavardi thing where she is the only one that like really engages with everyone what was it like in more frequently? Part? Here you workers were on the I feel like that's a literal setting here. Distance weapon mode. Nope, not. It's not. Clock every available moment. We always got eight hours a day for sleeping. Just not always consecutive. My condolences. <laughs> I appreciate consistent wages like any other sane person, but that still sounds awful. At least Sanjar gives his folks weekends. Weekends? <laughs> that shouldn't have been so funny. Her genuine no, confusion on you weekends. Be alone with your thoughts. <laughs> we, <laughs> that was so. That was such a genuine take of we weekends. What the fuck are those? Join me for a second, will you? What's up? Hey, got a favor to ask you. Sure. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And I could use the help. She seems a lot better when she's not drinking. Um. Thanks for the compliment, I think. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Um, what kind of danger are we talking about here? Nothing I can't, we can't handle. Uh, all right, let's hear it. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends, six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. All right. Um, what do you need to do? First, we go to Hayes. I buried him a ways from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. Well, at least she managed I'll to bury him. Rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to Barry. Uh, and after that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. 
If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Oh, um, we're gonna have to kill a Mansa Queen. Oh yes, I can't wait. Sure, I don't mind. Pavardi, do you mind? Well, she'll she'll let us know on the way. Most definitely. Hold on, give me a sec. Okay. I am very much uh, enjoying my time with this game. Okay, cool. So she gets uh, two perk points right away. Increase your lie when she's in the party. I uh, think I'll uh, hold X to revert. There we go. I think I'll go ahead and give her more health. Range damage and... Uh, Reduce how far your sounds go. Ooh. That's pretty darn good. Though I don't know if she's going to be in the party too often. So, like... You know, because if I had someone like Pravardi or Ellie... Who I want them to be constantly in the party... I would get a lot more benefit out of something like that. Um... So, let me... Shoot. Also, my stealth is already really high, but 20% radius is pretty insane. Uh, whatever. It's it's enough, anyways. Um. Well, looking at her weapon, give her more range. Alrighty. Good old Stellar Bay, only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur, on account of it stinking like fish instead. Um, that's the main quest, but she wanted to uh, get this thing on the way, so she says it's on the way, then we'll go ahead and do, that's not on the way. That's there. Ugh. She's not wrong. Whatever. Let's, yeah, let's fast travel a little. Mm -hmm. Never mind, I guess. Whatever. Well, guys, uh... We do have some things to talk about. Actually, I, I might take a break at, like, midnight when we get there. Because uh, I do want to, like, get a sandwich. I'm having a craving for peanut butter and jelly. I will probably get that in a, in a moment. So, we'll take a few minute pause, but, um, news, uh, patches, um, tomorrow, both Tekken and Smash again updates, Violet's coming out in Smash, I am the one person excited for it, um, pretty exciting. That's, that's about it. I am also, like more other people, interested in what other balance changes they're going to introduce in the update. Though I don't remember there being too many in the last one. At least I don't think there was, like... Is that Yuri Lowenthal? I think that's, I think that's our boy Yuri. Anyways. Um... And then Tekken's getting updated, and they're nerfing Leroy finally. However, uh, some some tea on that update is that uh, oh god, my, all my squad's dead. Um, the update you can see in the URL where they posted it. You know the PDF file they post online with the update info shows that the update was planned for before Christmas even, but they did not release it before Christmas. Um, they released it after Tekken World Tour and everything. So the update to nerf him was planned a while ago, but they just wanted to... I get a lot of health back on kills, good lord. So 
So it's a good thing they're finally nerfing Leroy. I think it was a it's been a better, bit of a rough spot with Tekken and season three and Leroy. The thing is though, is that like when Tekken's been adding characters, like back in, you know, arcade, the thing was when they added characters before, they were in the arcade version of Tekken 7, right? So only not nearly as many people got to play the new characters. Um, so we never got to see how bad Shaheen was on his release, which people said he was, and it's probably comparable, but, uh, they get it right. The Bandai Namco team, they take their time to balance Help me, please. for multiple reasons, but you know, they get it right eventually. Oh, no, no, we're not sleeping. I will help you, lady, in a sec after I, uh... Okay, I'm gonna help you out. <sighs> they were coming real close to eating me. I'm Lenora. You, uh... I'll talk about Iceborne in a sec, too. Here? Not that I'm complaining, but I figure only marauders and animals roam around. Um... Just exploring. Oh, uh... Well, okay. I can appreciate an adventurous spirit. Thanks for the help. I've got to pick up some things from the bay, but I run a little stand near Fallbrook. Next time you need supplies, stop by, you hear? Sure. That's pretty cool. I might get like a legit discount. What are these creatures? Oh, I see. All right, let's uh, get back on the journey. And then Smash is, I think, in a pretty darn good state. The thing about it is that, um, well, there are some characters <clears throat> in jo Joker. I'm not trying to like cough, cough, Joker, cough. I'm legit coughing right now. But, um, well, I'll let them handle that while I loot. They can use nerfs, I guess. Nothing like a good tussle. I have more. Well, I mean, I I uh, have fun playing Joker regardless, so I I don't have as much of a stake in whatever balance changes they decide to make. Um, let's see. Let's go up here, I guess. Shit, I don't know. I I hope for more buffs than nerfs, at least. You know, I think it's like. I don't know if it's a huge deal, the characters that are currently high tier, if they're that big of a deal, in all honesty. I think it would be better to just uh, keep buffing the lowest characters. Because, you know, I play Zelda, and Zelda is pretty uh, considered pretty not good. Same with Cloud. He's definitely... Cloud is definitely not as good as he once was. You know, that's that's pretty objective, but... You know, they wanted to buff him. I wouldn't complain. I don't think, like, he needs any... Nothing compared to the changes they made to, like, limit and everything. Those are those are fine, but... I don't know. Bring br Yeah, bring back the hitboxes. Bring back his uh, Smash 4 hitboxes, then we'll be good. That's all. I think I'm attracted to dumb girls, actually. My girlfriend lost her phone for 30 minutes only to find out she left it in the fridge. That's insane. That's a, that's pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I hope for more buffs. Buff everyone. That's what I say. Uh, all my, all, all like, you know, uh, well, Omnio now plays, uh, Hero, so, you know, he, he, I don't even know which one he plays, I don't know, I think he just plays 11. So if he wants to, you know, oh, kill a mega creature, there was a mega creature? Oh, whatever, it's dead. Oh, that was probably this thing, because it had so much loot on it. So, I mean, Hero's fine, but Cheat plays K-Rule. K-Rule can use some changes. 
Um, our friend Jack plays Falcon and very much popularizes the issues of Falcon. So let's hope that this is actually Captain Falcon's update and not um, the Byleth update. You know, they're adding Byleth, but they're also adding Captain Falcons to the game too. This is a huge uh, ravine. Well, only one way to find out. Take cover, damn it. <laughs> Take cover, damn it. <laughs> Can you quick save in the air? No, you can't. For some reason, I like to... Oh my god, I really gotta walk all that goddamn way around. Fuck off. Um, I do have moments where, like... It happens pretty often. Where I need to get up out of my chair I'm in right now, or get out of my bed. And I just toss my phone. I just literally toss it in some direction. And then I have to find it, and I find it in extremely weird spots. And I don't remember tossing it, but I know I must be tossing my phone because it's always in really weird spots, like on my bed or, like, on my chair. Like, why did I throw it there? I don't know. How did this happen? Why is this ravine here? Why do we have to go so far back just to get over the... Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Alright, well. Mobby. This, this really could have been avoided if I looked at the map. Anyway, so... Yeah, mo in Monster Hunter... I believe I've said everything I wanted to say about Smash and... Permanently crippled?! No! Smash and Tekken, so... Oh yeah, more Leroy nerfs are coming too. They said, uh, Murray was super transparent. He said that they were planning to nerf Leroy more when the Fakuram was out. So, that's when I guess when we can, uh, expect more nerfs. At least by that point, so... They'll, uh, get to that state of, uh, Tekken being where it was, once was, soon enough. Anyways. So... With Iceborne, on PC, they are planning to have the uh, PC version up to date and in sync and remain in sync with the console version by, I'm pretty sure, April. And a uh, nice uh, side effect to go with that is that we on PC are going to get all the updates way faster, like... Just in the beginning of February, we're getting the Resident Evil crossover event at the same time as uh, Rajang. And that's really cool. Um, I, th I think that's a great compromise, and April's really not that far away, so... We're gonna get, all, like, an MMO's worth of active updates up till April. That's pretty good. The PC version also had some, um... Had issues like, what's hacking under? I guess hacking is, oh, there it is. The PC version had some CPU issues and they, uh, in the latest update that was just last night, they fixed them. So now the game runs like, it takes up like 10% less CPU usage. Uh, and the difference is very noticeable. And it was, it was originally caused by, um, chance to reset a companion ability cooldown when using the other companion's ability, or chance to reset a companion ability cooldown on each critical hit. I have not been using companion abilities at all. I thought they were passives. Uh, let's get this one. Am I over encumbered? Oh, I am. 
Well, it's time to break some stuff down. Twenty-five, twenty-six. I doubt any of this stuff is better. It probably looks better, though. And I would wear that over this dumb armor, because I don't like how that looks at all. But the stats are too low. If I could, like, uh, modify it to be better, though, that'd be awesome, but... I don't care for the helmets. This is what's taking up all the weight is this stuff. Like, I, I think I picked up... Yeah, I picked up this flamethrower earlier. Wait, I probably should not have done that. Nope, that's okay. It's the same one. I don't care about these uh, melee weapons either. Alright, so now that we're over here, didn't I not, like... Oh no, I crossed the other bridges. Oh no, I was here. This was, uh... Yeah, we were in that one building before. But now we are... Yeah, we're good to take off this way. So, I'm hyped. I hardly have time, even any time to play Monster Hunter. But, you know, I'm trying to get it out of the way right now. I am, uh... A little more than halfway through Iceborne's main story. And I would like to get through it faster just so I don't have to, you know, worry about that. Cross that off my backlist of games. Because I have so damn many games I'm trying to play right now. And I work and make videos, so I hardly, hardly have time. But I want to keep playing games. I wish I had, like, better moments of, like, breaks from work where I could, uh, you know, if, if, it, if it would work to bring my Switch and just play games, but I do not have that, uh, luxury. Okay, so that's a Mantisaur soldier, and that's already a pretty sizable creature. So, I'm a little afraid of what the Manta Queen look. Oh, there's the Manta Queen. And Nyoka's down already. Plasma's no good? Did she just say plasma's no good? Can't get past that armor. Well, that's not doing much better. Pavardi, I don't know what to tell you, but this is working. No, it. I am. Can you charge this gun while it's reloading? That's that's funny. What the fuck? Oh, Mantis Swarm. That's what was hitting me. And the Mantis Swarms had nothing on them. All right, cool. We kill. Uh, I killed a Manta Queen. What's an Iceborne? Yeah. Well. I can tell you that when I also learn what a in birth is. Uh, oh no, the ravine. Ow. Right, so we gotta keep going down this way anyways, because... Line staggered, all sorts of debuffs. This is a shitty spot to be in. We have, we have the height. Okay, well apparently they're just blind. Okay, nope, now they're hitting us. Haha! -ha! You can't get me now. Oh, uh, I can't get you either. Hmm. Well. If this, 
If this was Fallout, you know, I would be very safe in those rocks and still be able to shoot out of them, but this is not Fallout. That's it. So you got to lead your shots. Damn it. Wasn't leading enough. You really got to lead. Oh, fuck. Let me just stay in here and recover my health a little bit. Oh, I can shoot out of this one. That's so funny. Let me, let me get all this loot off of them. Uh oh, I don't think I'm getting. I'm not getting back up there. It's not even worth trying. That's not worth trying either. I was gonna say that's gonna hurt when I fall. <sighs> well, they're dead. Oh, hey guys. We're going the right way. No, we're going to it. Uh, nope, no, don't go that way. Well, I mean, I just killed them, so whatever. We'll loot what's down here. Oh boy. Yeah, let's not. Um, let's. Um. I think if I kill the ringleader, they'll all fuck off. Alright, what do we got to lose? Oh god, that's a lot. Go one at a time, focus on the little ones, because the more I kill them, the more health I get. Or that might not matter at all. Nope, still alive! You know what they say, time- I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. That was them dying, not me. Time dilation is the cousin of death. Sooner we put these adult psychopaths in the ground, the better. That's really, that's really mean, Gord. I was doing my best. I don't just I don't know. I just didn't feel like aiming. You know, you ever you ever be like that? All right, ring leader's dead. You all can fuck off now. You're all free. Oh man. This ain't Fortnite, I can't make my own cover. Oh, shit! Oh my god, there's so many. Nope, not happening. Nope. Nope. Hey, that's not nice either. Alright. Forget this place. Shh. We're getting out of here. Instead, 
This vampiric skill, though, where I get... I'm, I mean, it's hardly vampiric, quote-unquote. But this skill where I get health for kills is so good. That's... I want to build around it. Like, like a risk of rain shit, you know? Risk of rain has plenty of that stuff. Health on kills, health on hit. That's my favorite. Especially in a game like Risk of Rain, you know, where you, the, it, the screen's just full of small monsters. So you're just always gonna get it, you know. But it's a little... It could be a little different here. Imagine building your character around killing enemies. Hmm. Alright, well, maybe I didn't think this one too... Th th I didn't think this one through too well. Is there any build you can say doesn't do that, though? I think you can make that claim about any build. It is- I don't know what the charge is for, but the charge does not do more damage. Okay, yes it does. Yeah, yes, it does. It's just it doesn't do more uh, damage if they have armor. Oh my god, you guys are so useless! You know what it is? They have their base armor. They don't have upgraded armor like I do. And that's probably why they die so fast, is because I have refused to upgrade their armor. But right now, I don't have any armor to give them. And also, they're dead. Come on, I'm so close to killing that one. I did it. Oh, I barely got any health, though. <gasps> what? It teleported back! Aw, man. See, 14. Oh, never mind. She's fine. Pavardi, though? She also has her vanilla pistol. Oh, actually, that's doing pl plenty of damage. Here, put that on her. Wow, that looks a lot better. Good call. Speedrun build. <sighs> Imagine building your build around not playing the game. Got him. Dab. Here we go. He's doing anything. Why is something else working? If I kill those Manza pillars, I'll definitely get health for it, but. Well. No, we're not. We certainly gave it our best, though, you know. Wish I had grenades. Look, I have full health because I was able to benefit so much. And now the Manta Queen is left, so now it's just a game of perseverance. But don't back up too much, otherwise it will literally teleport back to where it was. I gotta remember, I can, uh... Oh shit, that was a terrible idea. I have to do something. But that is not killing it as fast. What? Oh shit. Why was everyone talking up the Manta Queen when the Megos exist? Also, this gun is so loud, I hate it. 
Okay, good. I can kill the swarms to get HP back. Oh my god, I got so much health back. I'll try to out jump it, which I can successfully do. Oh my god, it's so close to down. One left. Fuck. This gun sucks, the clip is too small. That was a good hit I got on it. Oh yeah, this is doing more damage. The pistol is. I would be so upset to die to this last creature. Please don't let me die to this last creature. We're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, it's like, <laughs> you have no health. Stop living already. Oh my god, it had so much on it. Ah, uh, good lord, I'm gonna save. <laughs> we, I need to upgrade stuff fast and, like, soon. As soon as we get back to the ship. As soon as we finish our business out here, we're gonna do some upgrading back at the ship. <sighs> so, which, uh, okay, I am on the companion quest, so. Oh my god, we aren't even on the right side yet. We're just at the sulfur pits. We still have to get all the way down there. You know what it looks like? It looks like these, we could have followed these tracks to get over there instead of Wait, didn't she tell us about this? <sighs> Whatever, we're already at this point. We might as well just gun it. No, I don't care. Okay, sure. I need the XP. I know, but I, my plan was to cross over the bridge, so... But I am definitely taking the harder route, it seems like. I have chosen to go straight from Good Springs to Vegas. Watch it. He's pulled what do you mean you can't do that? I'm gonna do it. I don't care. I'm gonna no-clip over that bridge. Neat that it's here, though. <laughs> Neat that it's here. Like, I... The path is, like, literally right over here. There it is. 
What spotted us? I don't know what we're shooting at, but... Oh boy. Whoa! Whoa! I've got all sorts of speedrun tech in this game. I don't need the speedrun build. Whoa, not a... <laughs> Shit. I really should look where I'm going, huh? Nope. Bye. See ya. Yeah, they're behind me, all right. Why did the path stop? See? The bridge is right over there. Cascadia, we made it. Greetings! Goodbye. Uh, haha, let me through that door. Son of a bitch. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna take this L. Yeah, damn it, why didn't you warn me? <laughs> Just open the door. Just no clip through it. No, I'm pretty sure they did tell me in-game uh, about the two ways to get there, I think. South here. Off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent trek ahead of us. Oh, I know we do. God damn it. I'm so sick of shooting. Why can't we just be friends? Oh, I have nothing else to try. I have nothing else to try, Bavardi. I'm gonna get a flamethrower out. Maybe the flamethrower would be more effective on these creatures. Oop, nope, 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 not here. Gotta try something. Shock doesn't work. Plasma is not uh, as effective. So maybe the answer is fire. South here. Off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent trek ahead of us. You're telling me down that way? I mean, this also looks like two pads, but... Yeah, the armor does look dumb, but it has the best stats right now, so I can't really do much about it. Here they come. Plasma is working. Did she just say this flamethrower is plasma? If I swap weapons right now and I see Oh my god, it it still uses plasma. It's just a plasma flamethrower. Just change the stats. I need a workbench to do that. 
That is, that is literally something I could do, but I would have to go back to the workbench. I don't know. If I'm going to keep dying, though, maybe I should just go back to the ship and <laughs> prep. <sighs> Come on, guys. Stop fooling around. Way the edges are burnt. I guess people did this, not the wilds. I'm gonna die. Oh, no. No, no, no. You're hurt. Well, if I have to shoot all that stuff again. Where am I? Oh, good. Thank God. That means I get to do that again with no punishment. As your engineer, I advise you not to set foot on that, especially the bendy parts. Oh, Pavardi, you could have said that a little earlier. Whoa, there's a person over there. Yeah, no, she could have. She really could have said that earlier. You know, she. She. Never mind. Uh, we'll live if we. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was gonna say maybe we won't live, but we lived. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little concerned about the person that's up there. I kind of want to go. I'd stake my reputation on this being an ambush. We on us? See if anybody's still alive, they might be too weak to call for help. Oh. Uh, auto mechanical loader. Rough. <sighs> oh no! What if the iconoclast did this? If the Iconoclast did this, and also that one person we saw back on whatever ship we, whatever we, thing it was that we killed her on last episode, if she was also an Iconocla Iconoclast, uh, I would, I would, I would applaud. I would clap. I'd be very happy with that turn of events. I'm a little off the path here, so uh, I think I should get back on the path. Well, it, this is leading me over here. Oh, that goes that way. I'm going to go back. But I can't get up. Because the path goes like... It goes up. I can't get up. You know, you ever just had to get up, but you couldn't get up? That's what the situation is right now. Oh, boy. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. They'll never see us. You're right, they won't. Wow, that's incredible. Uh oh. Uh oh. Cheese it. Ah, here we go. People, civilization. Quick, uh, I'm being followed. No, I'm not. Thanks again for getting me away from those marauders. Oh, it's her. You want to buy something? Uh, maybe. 10% discount. Awesome. Um, let me sell. Oh, I had a, quite a bit to sell. Pro toss ball blocker. Jesus Christ, that does so much damage. What is that? that does so much damage. My guns are so weak. Why have I do I not have guns like this? Can you repair? Am I in a state of repair? 
I didn't mean for it to sound like that. I just... Oh, never mind. <sighs> sure, repair that. Um, I kind of want to buy ammo, but like, I think I should prioritize she doesn't have good armor. Whoa, that is good armor. For how much? 600? What a steal. Give me that. Um, I'm going to put better helmets on everyone. Yeah, here we go. Get those two. And then I guess I will buy your ammo. Nice. Have anything else on you? I'll buy back. Nah, I'm good. Arboring on Arbor. I don't even... <sighs> Fuck. I wanna... What are those guns? The, uh... What was that one that did, did like, 900? Did I sell it? Yeah, this one. The light machine gun. That shit does hella damage. So uh, I'm gonna put that on, and we don't look any better, but... Bavardi, here. You can have my old armor. Never mind, you cannot actually have my old armor. Oh, it just needs repaired. And I guess she isn't capable of repairing it. You can have this dumb helmet. And Dioka could also have a helmet. There you go. That'll help, actually. Oh, wait. Should I be going this way? No, I shouldn't. Oh, I do want to talk to that person that was up here. Oh, shit. Oh wait, let me pull out my new guns. Not that one. Damn. Uh, that does pretty good damage. Yeah, that damage is pretty damn good. Look at that, that's crazy. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. What was the other weapon I got? This? No, that's my pistol. This one. Oh. It is this one. I didn't realize what. Never mind. Look at that. Pavardi's a champ now. Pavardi can rough it with the rest of them. Whatever that phrase means. Hello there. A word, if I may be so bold? Sure. Well now, here I thought those mantasaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. Uh-huh. Name's Weston. Every once <sighs> in a while, I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply, you come on by. Care to purchase a thing or two? Show me what you got. Uh, I don't get as much of a discount, but... Definitely take this and that and that. You know, I'm bu I'm buying for like a bunch of people here, so now I can just afford to throw that armor on everyone. So what's my armor? Do I have? Uh, it's uh, thirty six. Um. Well, this armor. Oh, that's uh, kind of... Well, it's an improvement. I, that's about all I can say. Is It's an improvement. Uh, put that on her. And Pavardi... No, wait. Pavardi gets that. You can have uh, this. All right, that works. There we go. All right, so the gang's going to be able to hold up a little bit better.
<sighs> Sorry for the yawning. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there if you need to drink. We're only halfway to the mountain, so... Oh, yeah. Let me let me get there so I can get the fast travel point. Did I get it? Yeah, close enough. At the crossroads. Ah, uh, wait, hold up. Let me reload. That's the drawback of this gun. Let me tell you, it's got to reload. But damn, does it get the job done. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't have to reload. Get plenty of shots. Charge in. And as long as I'm up close, this thing does devastating damage. This will this will keep us good for a while. Reloading is just a social Look construct. That ain't it. But marauders sometimes camp inside the buildings there. Steer clear unless you fancy getting shot. That's uh. Westbound still. Nope. I'll let you know when we can start ascending. Oh, yeah, I'm I'm good there. So uh, we're heading this way. She's pretty bad at giving directions, I won't lie. Um, so we gotta go through here to get there. So... Who shall cast the first shot? It's me. Fuck, my plan didn't work. I'm not as tanky as I thought I was. Nice Just kidding, yes I am. Something I didn't consider is that my plan requires aiming. These these ain't cod shotguns. It's not it's not as free as I think it is. Oh fuck off, like you knew I was there. All right, there we go. Ah, they're both dead. Excellent. That's, I'm glad the new armor's working. No range. Almost. So acid is hardly doing any damage to me, but God, is it annoying. Oop. Um, yep, across the bridge. Stop that. Did we miss someone? Oh. There we go. Oh, there we go. I call this rotting river on account of all the dead things I've thrown in it over the years. It'll take you into the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. That's one option. Others the slope up. If you're up for some fun, let's chat. Uh, I'm up for some getting to our destination. I don't think I've seen a sniper rifle once in this game. Which, you know, has been the plan for a while. Oh, fuck. No! 
That was the plan for a while, but I haven't, like, seen a sniper rifle anywhere that I could purchase or find. I haven't found one. Oh, unless I gotta make it, maybe, and I gotta mod it to be it. The caves back east are safest. We can head up this path if you want to shoot your way through a few nightmares on your way up. <laughs> Quick save now, then, I guess. Oh, does she mean this way, or... Um, let's just walk straight there. Sniper rifles are just a myth. They are a byproduct of not working hard enough. Can't get past that armor. Not even a scratch. I don't know why I would like the NPCs die so fast and they have good armor now and they still like go down real fast, so I don't know the benefit of giving them more enmity and aggro. Because they'll they'd fall no matter what. Unless there's something I could be doing to avoid that. Here we go. I can change their, like, um... This. Distance, like, you know, stay further. Well, are they the same by default? They are. Uh, well... I guess aggressive or, like, uh, mode doesn't really matter. Yeah, aggressive's fine. Ranged, mixed, or distance. I guess distance would be the one to keep an eye on. She has higher melee damage, but I mean, she's going to die if she gets in there. Oh, she has way higher melee. Hold up. Pavardi, stay away. Far, and sure, mixed is fine, but you, get in there. Is that Pavardi? That's... That's the last of them. <laughs> Silly. You, put that hammer away. Oh, I can just give her this, though, too. Eh. Hmm. There we go. Was there a mega one in there? I guess not. Oh. Oh, it was a person. Okay. Finally! God damn! Let's clear the sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. I can't believe- and she had- didn't she say there were six of them? Including her, so there's five others? We gone so goddamn far. Well, maybe if you were getting in here and meleeing it, we wouldn't have this problem. She did live, so maybe that did help. Very near the surface of Hayes' grave is a small lockbox. It hinge, its hinges rusted through, and its wood's almost completely rotted. It falls nearly apart in your hands. But you managed to find a tarnished silver medallion bearing the words Charon, or Charon. Now what? Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. <sighs> Hmm. 
Hold on, tell me about the UDL contract. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. Well, I'll get you off here. Uh, you didn't try and find him? I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell to do so. Um, for what it's worth, I'm glad you're trying to confront it. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Mm. Now come on, let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Sure. Um, now where do you want me to go? That, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Since we can fast travel back there. Oh, and that's back there. Let's get another step in the main quest going. And then, um, call it. And so you could, because you can hear me yawning. I think I ought to, I would benefit from laying down, getting some sleep. I would love to get further in the game because let me, let me just straight up look at my work schedule and see what I can manage on Thursday. It'll only take a sec. It's on my phone. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. System's under maintenance. Oh, it gave me a uh, not live version. Oh yeah, I'll be fine on Thursday. Yeah, I can I can go late as hell Thursday night. Okay, so that's fine then. Let's uh mosey on over here and continue the main quest. Where am I going? Oh, get it off! Get it off! <laughs> yeah, mood. We can drink this water. Damn. Anyways. Oh, good. Now we can fast travel here. This is kind of pretty. What am I doing here? The broker. Wow. They live in Look luxury. Up. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. I am really sick of the enemies though. Score, Pretty sick of the enemies here. Perfection. At least those ones weren't. I'm not getting up this way. Okay, well. Just charge right in. Oh no, I didn't do as much damage as I hoped. I have very much fucked up. At least they're alive. What I I'm a little more concerned about your right. Ah, shit. Hey, how about we take a break here? How about uh before next stream, I will 
stop by the ship, organize weapons and whatnot, and probably be better equipped for where we are. No progress will be made, just inventory management and stuff, so... And then I'll be more in the mood to continue fighting, but... For now, a little bit at stakes here. Uh, at stakes wasn't the right word, I don't know, I'm tired too. So, uh, thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching. Um, I'm gonna be live again on Thursday night, and also have a later stream there too. And on, well, in the meantime, well, who knows when Ray will stream. We'll see what happens. Um, I don't know what he's going to start either. I don't know what he was troubleshooting. Um, but Pop will continue Sonic and Sonic Adventure. So maybe the, uh, whatever was next after that. So that's what's happening this week. So thanks for tuning in. See you all next time. Until then, go to bed.